on the dark side. side, side, side. Alright, so how's it going guys and welcome back. So I decided to make this quick little video talking about few skills that have been changed and they have been changed to the better, trust me. They are so strong. Uh, so I decided to make a top 5 on them. So it's my top 5, I'm pretty sure you guys you might have played with other heroes that have been changed as well and they are really strong but... This is the heroes that I have been playing and checking out. So starting with this constructor, the reason I like this constructor is because her decoy is kinda insane now. Let's see, I'm gonna be dropping it down on this encampment. I'm gonna leave the name of the hero on the top of the screen so you can see what hero I'm talking about. Alright, here we go. So I just drop it down. Look, look at this. It's insane, man. This hero is level 30, by the way. That's why I'm in a power 76 mission. That's insane. Did you see the cooldown when it exploded? I had 9 seconds left. Make sure you take a look at the cooldown. 30 seconds, 12 seconds. Alright, 11 seconds left. So basically every 11 seconds you have an AoE just like to pull the enemies. Like this is so helpful in Horde Bash, trust me. So I just got it from co the collection book just to use her on the Horde Bash. She's really broken. Like imagine you have this decoy every 11 seconds that's really insane it's gonna be so helpful let's jump into number four all right guys so number four skill is going to be lefty and righty the reason for that is because it had a long long cooldown and they nerfed it from 160 seconds to 100 seconds and they buffed the damage on it a little bit and more than that remember if you have pistols every time you kill something it's gonna go down by one second so here we go let's just kill this guy i'm gonna focus on him here we go as you can see, this is power 100 mission. And they got deleted. So yeah, lefty and righty, broken. And as you can see, we are at 125 seconds already. So, really great. I <laughs> I like the buff. Alright, let's jump in to number 3. Alright you guys, I got some husks over here. So number 3 is going to be Warcry. So it got a huge buff that you do a lot of damage using it. We got two mist monsters. Let's try it on. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. War cry. Those are power hundred. What? What the fuck? Oh my god, that was three hundred and thirty plus thousand because of the war cry. And the attack speed is amazing. It's way too long. And if you get the new soldier and put it on your uh, tactical squad, you get five more seconds on the war cry. So that's really great. All right. Let's jump into number two. All right, you guys. So number two is going to be Master Shuriken. The reason for that, because all the shurikens in the game have been buffed. The speed of them, the speed that they travel, is it's way faster, and they do a ton more damage. And look, when you hit them with this stars, they gonna cause affliction, and now the affliction is also does way more damage. So we got some mist monster over there. He's a power 100. Let's see how much damage we're gonna be doing to him. Let's see. Yeah. Here we go. That's a power 100 blaster. Of course, uh, the hero I'm using is level 50. She has a lot of ability damage. Just keep in mind. And the fact that you have only 3 seconds cooldown on it is so insane. Like, I, I really recommend using this hero also for hard bash. I need to make another video on her very soon. Just because she's really great. All you need to do is just sit back and keep shooting. Alright, this is it. Give me give me that beautiful bike face. Oh yeah. Look at that damage. Look at this affliction, man. It's so nice. Ah oh, yeah. Alright. Let's go to number one. Alright, so here we are. So the number one is going to be the anti material charge the reason for that especially on this hero there have been farming ways there have been a lot of things but now after those changes all you need to do if you get your hand on this hero you're basically set this is the best hero for farming after they change this let me explain why this hero is all about using the anti-material charge so as you can see you just start and you punch all right but did you see that cooldown did you see that cooldown? 5 seconds cooldown on the anti-material punch. The farming is going to be insane. You don't even have to pick up your axe. By the time you break something, you already have your punch up. So you don't even need your axe anymore. You just keep punching and punching. If you are in a city, you just run 
punch, run, punch, and run, punch. Keep doing that. That's it. Like, you can destroy the whole area if you want to. It's so insane. Like, oh my god. So, this is, in my opinion, the number one skill that have been changed that is so broken right now. Like, it's seriously broken. They broke the game, basically. There was a lot of heroes for farming, but this hero just throw all of them all the other heroes in the trash can just keep in mind if you want a farming hero i really recommend going for this guy he's really good like five seconds on anti-material charge you will never run out of nuts and bolts other than that i'm gonna be ending the video here and keep in mind please this is my top five uh skills that i did use and find powerful I don't know, maybe you play uh, constructors. I don't play a lot of constructors. Maybe there is a new skills for constructors that are broken. So please, if you find any, let me know down in the comments. I will try to pin your comment. Tell people that there is another skill that is really broken in the game at the moment. So, but those are the five skills that I really, really enjoy. The changes on. Especially this one, because it's so broken, man. Alright, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like, if you want, of course. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later on with another video. Take care, and have a good day.